I'm writing a book. I've been podcasting for, I think, nearly seven years at this point, and along the way, have made a great many stupid mistakes. I've made mistakes with you know, technology, microphones, computers. Well, you know, I, spend, I spend so much money on things I didn't need to spend money on in the pursuit of having a great podcast. I've made terrible mistakes with guests. I've made mistakes on social media. I didn't know the first thing about what to do with my podcast clips on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and how to use all those things. But now, six or seven years down the line, I finally feel like I'm getting a handle on it and the weight of all those mistakes have actually made me relatively wise and relatively confident in the show. Here's my five pieces of advice that I will expound on further in the book. My first piece of advice to new podcasters is practice. Practice, 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 practice. In my experience, podcasting well is podcasting badly until you get good at it. And that is me. The book at the moment is called How I Made a Shit Podcast. And uh, <laughs> because the show for years was, you know, it's, it wasn't as good as I thought it was. I thought every year I look back on the previous year's work and think, man, we've come a hell of a long way. It makes me anxious. I even consider sometimes deleting old episodes because I don't want people to listen to them first and think, what is this? But actually those episodes stand as a good marker for where we've been and where we're going. Where we've going? From where we've been to where we're going, or where we are now. I'm just going to ditch that sentence altogether. My second piece of advice is technology. You don't need a full setup, in my experience. I mean, if you're financially comfortable, if you've got a big budget, or you know, whatever that situation is, I think I suppose what who I'm appealing to is the person sat at the house wanting to give it a go. All you need really is just a phone or something to record your voice into. You can use free apps like Spotify for podcasters, formerly Anchor, Podbean, I think is still available. There's free places where you can just record your audio and then upload to those places and then you've got a podcast. So don't stress too much about the technology side of things. You are going to want a microphone. I mean, don't get me wrong. Later on, the listening experience is key. What people hear is vital. You want them sort of gripped. You want them enjoying the sensation. But if you can get good enough at doing it, if you can get interesting enough, um, if you can get experienced enough in being passionate about what you're talking about, then people will listen anyway because it's the content, not necessarily the audio. But the audio does help. If you want to jump straight into microphones, then do some really, really good research. Um, my first ever microphone, my first ever proper microphone was a lapel microphone that plugged into my fiance's iPad and that's how we started out way before the garage so make sure you're careful because I've spent a lot of money on microphones I don't need or microphones that a couple of weeks later <laughs> I realized weren't the right fit there's all sort of different types of microphones so do your research that's my advice and if you actually want if you want specific advice then it'll be in the book or just message me in the comments and I'll let you know what microphones I use and what ones I found are great one notable one was the snowball um, microphone, the little sort of circle snowball microphone. I thought as a beginner's microphone, it's just excellent. It's actually great quality, um, and some professionals sort of still have that around. It's a very, very good microphone. Advice number three, or number three advices. My third point when you do your first few episodes, just keep it for yourself or close family and friends. I mean, it totally depends on what you want. A lot of this advice is aimed at people who want to do podcasting professionally or see themselves having some longevity in the in podcasting. And if that's the case, in my experience, you have to see it as a as a craft, as an art, as something to improve upon, like any skill. And if that's the case, if that's where your head's at, then the best thing to do would be to record the first few episodes and then let your family and friends who you know, lucky enough to have those people around you let your family and friends listen to it and see what they think ask them be prepared for <laughs> for a critical advice and say at what point did you think of switching off what do you think i could have done better what would have kept you more engaged and that way you get a good head start before you publicly release the episode on you know say facebook and instagram or tiktok and start letting people know you're there advice number four clips matter social media matters a big chunk of our listeners come from uh, our TikTok videos or Instagram or whatever it is. So it's worth looking at either decent cameras or finding out ways that you can best utilize your phones. So what we use is two uh, 
uh, iPhones at the moment, and which yeah, you might be able to tell, but we just use two iPhones at the moment, and so a big old ring light here, we try and utilize daylight where we can, but these are things where I'm still practicing. I've got okay with the audio side of things and presenting and putting on a good show and having a good dynamic with my co-host, but the technical things are still or might eventually be to you really important like lighting and videography things that can grab an audience member's attention and you might think well I don't want to do all that all I want is to do a great podcast and I don't blame you at all that's what I want too but there are people out there there are podcasts out there doing very well because they're distributing short you know 30 second or a minute long clips on TikTok and Instagram and then people are going oh I'll click on that link or I'll see that podcast because I like the look of these guys it gives me a better sense for who they are so I'll go research a podcast I feel like I know them a bit more so I'm looking for the podcast on Spotify or whatever it is so clips can be very very important um so practice practice the first load of clips we put out on facebook and instagram and tiktok were dreadful were, and we're still not very good at it now <laughs> we're still sort of practicing it so the important thing is is to to properly gauge where you are and understand that the quality is just going to get better and better and better and it won't get better and better unless you just keep improving at it and slogging away and being patient you might not be where you want to be now but you might be there yeah, in five years time so keep putting the bricks in place building the foundation to make sure that you have all the skills you need to be a great podcaster and stand out in whatever niche it is that you're trying to go for or if, you, if you've got a show that's a very general show like ours then it's important to work on all the tiny little aspects and be a little bit of a control freak and invest time into it because there are other shows that, that are just general shows say like the Joe Rogan experience that are dominating that market and you've got to see it as how do I how do I get my way in there and good episodes with good clips that are quick and snappy are a good way to do that I've you know focus on someone like Mr. Beast on YouTube, all these great YouTubers, great YouTube videographers. There's plenty of videos out there that you can watch and study to see how best to retain retention, when to cut, because these clips are about storytelling. If we release a minute long video, it's obviously, it's, it's most of the time not a direct minute taken from the show. It's three or five minutes condensed into a minute to tell the audience a brief, interesting story in order to then get them to click on the, uh, click on the Spotify show my final piece of advice is this if I, is that fine just keep at it pod fade is a real thing it's a phenomenon where people get tired of doing it or they just sort of lose interest over time if you want to be a great podcaster you've got to put the time in you'll get the time there's so many people doing it it's such a saturated market it's such a it's such a heaving pool heaving <laughs> pool it's such a heaving pool of people that the best way to to get noticed is to just do it the repetition is the concentrating on things like your your voice your intonation your skills as a host if you're doing a, a podcast with guests and co and or co-hosts then how do you best bring them in how do you help them tell their story are you interrupting too much are you doing this too much mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those little things are annoying so listen to your show back and make notes of what you've done differently and be grateful for those lessons every time don't go oh you know I was very guilty in the first year of going, God, I'm shit. God, I'm not very good at this. And why did I do that? And why did I say this? And But the trick is to go, oh, well, I'm grateful I did those things now because then I can iron out these qualities or I can iron out these things I don't like and then improve over time. So you should see podcasting as, as an art, as a craft, and keep going at it. Patience, patience is the key. Because sooner or later, when you get good enough, people can't ignore you anymore. When your videos, when your clips on Instagram and TikTok are so good, are good enough, people won't be able to ignore you anymore. They'll go, well, actually, that's a very interesting subject. I'll click on that. That's something I'm really interested in. I'll click on that. That looks funny and interesting and charismatic. I'll click on that. But, but you will get there, and I will get there. We are just now, we're off the finish line, and we're well into the journey. But we have miles to go before we're anywhere near where we want to be. And so these principles that I'm telling you here, the more specific principles that you'll find in my book coming out, soon august 1st maybe if i get finished in time is these principles matter because you have to we have to get good at the craft i know i've said that a few times but get good at the craft focus on podcasting be patient and understand it might take years for you to get to where you want to be depending on how hard you work and how hard you push yourself now i hope that was interesting to somebody <laughs> i hope that was interesting to somebody out there we um 
as a show, the Steve Kayla show, is slowly getting to where we want to be. We make money from the show now. We're sponsored. We've got regular listeners. We've had some great episodes, some great successes, some uh, ones that aren't so good. And every now and then, they're very useful to have because it allows us to reflect and study them. If three episodes in the last six weeks never saw the light of day because the quality was poor, because me and my co-hosts you know, either had an argument or something devolved into, or or because it just wasn't good. It was a you know, a technical error or something like that. So well, I'm my harshest critic because I know that someone might be tuning into the podcast for the first time that episode and think, what the hell is this? And never listen again. So these, those things really matter. I hope that was interesting to somebody. I'm Steve Kalis. If you want to support me, then go to Spotify, click follow and listen to the show on there. It's good. I promise you'll really like it. Oh, and as usual, just want to say, get yourself to Graham's Windows and Doors. That's grahamswindowsanddoors.co.uk. They are Yeovil's and the Southwest's finest purveyor of windows, doors and conservatories. They're a wonderful family-run company. They've been great partners to us. We really, really appreciate it. So get to grahamswindowsanddoors.co.uk. I will buy the book when it comes out, but uh, I'll, I'll give you more information on that i'll make a video when it comes out so thank you for watching really appreciate it if you have any questions please leave it in the comments i'll let you know from my experience what best to do or what i did or how i messed that thing up <laughs> so thank you thank you for watching and we'll see you soon bye 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 bye